people come to us, they want a simulator because you know they want to enhance the experience. They want to be able to train indoors before they move on to the real equipment and they realize there's some benefit there. What they surprisingly find out after the fact is, wow, we're saving a lot of money. And, and why? Well, because we don't have to tie up a large piece of equipment or a large crane for training purposes. We can do it all on a simulator now. And that opens up that piece of equipment to do real work. That's what a crane or a big piece of equipment is designed to do is real work, not to train. So there's a huge cost savings there, as well as just the timing of it. Instead of having a three, four, five month training program, and make no mistake about it, these are complex pieces of equipment. And you're talking maybe an STS gantry crane on a port. That is a sophisticated piece of equipment. And you put somebody up in that, they're gonna have to learn very, very slowly. The, the risks are too high both the physical personal risks and the risk to the equipment and you know, the materials and the containers. Whereas in a simulator, they can learn much faster, more quickly. They can get that muscle memory, have much more confidence. Because that's not even to talk about fuel savings, fuel costs, maintenance costs, that anytime you're training on real equipment, you're spending a lot of money to maintain and to service that equipment and pay for the fuel, whether it's diesel fuel or electricity, far more expensive than the cost to run a computer and have an accurate simulation on a machine in an office than it is a real life piece of equipment.